Hello and welcome. This is Nasreen Sheikh and you're watching its tomorrow news. Japan prepares for possible hit by super typhoon Hajibis. A super typhoon in the Pacific Ocean could hit Japan on Saturday, potentially causing grave damage in Tokyo, experts said. The center of super typhoon Hajibis was roughly 950 miles south of Tokyo as of Thursday morning local time, according to Brandon Bukund, a meteorologist with the National Weather Service in Tian, Guam. The storm was moving about 9 miles per hour to the north and expected to pass along the east coast of Japan on Saturday evening, he said. The fastest sustained winds of the storm, as estimated by satellites, were 160 miles per hour, equivalent to a Category 5 hurricane storm, with sustained winds of over 150 miles per hour is classified as a super typhoon. The storm is expected to weaken with winds at about 90 miles per hour. As it approaches Japan, meteorologists predicted heavy rain there starting late Friday or early Saturday. The storm is expected to undergo an extra-tropical transition in the following days and become a large storm in the Bering Sea. NHK Japan's public broadcaster reported that officials were urging residents to prepare for potentially severe weather, including dangerous storm surges. The typhoon caused the cancellation of Rugby World Cup games in Japan between England and France and Italy and New Zealand. The first time games have been cancelled at the tournament. A meteorologist with the magazine Scientific American said that if HGBs proceeds as predicted, it could become one of the most damaging typhoons in Japanese history. Japan Rail announced that it would likely suspend service on multiple lines in advance of the typhoon hitting Japan. Both Japan Airlines and All Nippon Airways have said they will suspend flights from Friday to Sunday. It has been a month since Typhoon Faksai hit Japan and some homes in Chiba prefecture outside Tokyo are still without power and many homes damaged during that storm are still hurting under blue traps. Last year, Jabi, the worst typhoon in 25 years, killed 11 people, injured hundreds and caused an estimated $12.6 billion in damage. That's all for now. For more news updates, stay tuned with us. It's tomorrow news, Nasrin Sheikh. For more weather updates, do like, share and subscribe our channel.